Today, we're going to talk about the truth about supplements. Ah, oh, supplements. They can sometimes get a bad reputation because, real, well, really, they tend to be heavily over-marketed. Everyone and their mother seems to have found some cure for many of our modern-day ailments and problems and diseases. But how many of them are actually legitimate? And how do you know when a supplement can actually work like it says it will on the label and in the marketing? Supplements are one of my 10 pillars of brain health. And if you want to know more about the other nine pillars, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm Julia Lundstrom, a neuroscience and brain health educator. And today I'm going to help you debunk those supplement myths so you can feel confident in knowing what and how to buy your supplements and what your supplement needs are. So let's just start simple. How do we know what we need to supplement? Of course, in order to get a true personalized supplementation regimen started, you're gonna to need to have a blood panel done to check your levels for a different array of vitamin and mineral deficiency gaps. However, I would argue that almost everyone could benefit from at least one of the supplements you'll learn about in this video today to improve your brain health. Now, the first step is to make sure you get dosages that support the clinical trials double-blind placebo clinical trials. If you take more than the studies show, you can actually do damage to your body. And if you take less, well, basically you're just taking a placebo and throwing the money down the toilet when you pee it out later. So I recommend going to a website called examine.com. It's totally free. They do have a subscription, but it's free for the most part. They show you all the dosages that'll support clinical trials and they'll show you what dosages you wanna take for each respective supplement based on what you're trying to achieve with the supplement. Then I recommend looking inside your cabinet at your supplements and look at the labels. You wanna make sure that they have the dosages that the studies recommend. And if your supplement doesn't show dosages, then go back to the company and ask them for what's called a certificate of analysis. They should easily be able to provide that C of A to you to show you exactly what is in it and how much. Now, many companies use proprietary formulas, so they won't show you the dosages, but here's a sneaky little trick, even if you don't have a C of A. Look at the minimum effective dose on examine.com, then look at all the other ingredients the supplement has in that blend. So let's say one ingredient has a minimum effective dose of 300 milligrams then another two and another 300. That right there is 800 milligrams, and that's about the absolute max you can get into one normal size capsule. So if it has like 15 ingredients in it, and the minimum dosage are in micrograms, then you're probably not getting anywhere near the amount you needed to match the clinical trials. And, and this is a sneaky little thing that supplement manufacturers do. They will put in very good ingredients, but not nearly enough to do any good. And you're just taking a placebo. There's some that simply need multiple capsules to take, like L-carnitine. I would love to add it to our Mind Boost Day, but the dose we would need is over 1,200 milligrams, and I just can't fit that in with the other mind-boosting ingredients. So let's go into some supplements that almost everyone should take, and especially for your optimal brain health. The first is B12, which is the cell protector. It usually is recommended that everyone over the age of 50 take B12. It's essential for your brain and memory as it involved in the function and development of brain cells, nerve cells, blood cells, and myelin sheaths. So myelin sheaths are these protective casings around the connectors between your neurons, your, your brain cells, which are kind of like the plastic that surrounds the wires and cords in your house. They help information to move faster as well as protecting your brain cells from outside damage of free radicals. B12 is only found in animal sources, not in plants. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you have to supplement your diet with B12 or you risk becoming deficient. And deficiencies in B12 can range from anywhere from ADHD to depression and even schizophrenia and dementia and Alzheimer's. The next is DHA, your fishy friend. DHA is an omega-3 fatty acid found in fish like salmon and tuna and sardines. Most fish oils have three kinds of fatty acids. You have ALA, DHA, and EPA, all of which have all, you know, their, their assigned seats on the bus, but they're not all equally weighted when it comes to what you can buy over the counter. While DHA is the brain's preferred source of omega-3, 
it is one of the least abundant forms when it comes to its role in a supplement. And even as it is, it comes as a, at a price. At, you really want a one-to-one -one ratio of EPA and DHA with a minimum dose of 500 milligrams each. That's what the studies show. Um, so that it's a protector against the neuroinflammation. But when it comes to finding a supplement that fits all those needs, it's like finding a needle in the haystack. So we created our own Alpha Omega DHA that not only fits a bill for one-to-one, -one, but is formulated in a way that can fit almost everybody's budget and really gives you that DHA you need. Okay, so next is Ginkgo Biloba. It's basically your fountain of youth. It's an herbal powerhouse and has been clinically shown to improve your blood flow to your brain. And more blood flow means more oxygen rich, nutrient rich blood being transported to your brain and body, which as we know is incredibly important. The only caveat with Ginkgo is, well, because it does give you more blood flow, if you're on any sort of blood thinners or blood pressure medication, you're, you're gonna wanna check with your doctor because it can decrease your blood, or make your blood too thin. So, you know, too much of a good thing isn't always a good thing. The next one I wanna talk about is GABA. It's your secret to night, good night's sleep. So it's another great nutrient for your brain. And we actually naturally produce it in your bodies, but you can also supplement with it. However, it does not cross the blood brain barrier. So make sure your GABA has something in it called nitric, ox nitric oxide that'll help stimulate it, get it to get it across the blood brain barrier. This one will help improve your moods and has a calming and relaxing effect on the nervous system. Typically you wanna take it before you go to bed and it just basically puts you in a calm state to fall asleep without taking a sleeping pill. Um, and it won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. It just, it just makes you really relaxed to get you that good quality sleep that you and your brain deserve. The next powerhouse is ashwagandha. It is the stress layer, we call it. It's another amazing nutrient for your brain. It can help anxiety and stress and even help with insomnia. It's been shown to help with physical performance and improve the formation of memories and early studies show evidence that it may also be able to help treat Alzheimer's, although we need more studies around that. But it is exciting. There's so many other nutrients and supplements that are great for your brain and your brain health, but I really wanted to give you the baseline of what I, let's plan here, of what I start almost everybody with when it comes to your memory and brain health. They're all natural, meaning that they are plant and food-based. All right, so the next two are a power-packed duo. It's Bacopa Moniera and Rhodiola Rosea, the brain builders. It's a one-stop shop for a lot of common mental and brain fatigue needs. While both have been clinically proven to improve the quality and function of your memory and brain and reduce the effects of stress and anxiety, but much more, they have their own benefits. In addition, Bacopa Moniera, aside from its brain-boosting properties, is an herb which is notably known for lowering blood pressure, which could help those looking for a natural way to lower brain or blood pressure without taking drugs. Ordeal Rosea is anti-fatigue. It's notable for improving exercise performance by decreasing your exertion levels. Luckily, for those hoping to prevent an extra trip to the store, our Mind Boost Day gives you the correct dosages for both of these. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is probiotics, which really are your gut, right? Probiotics are there to help you maintain your gut flora. This is a direct connection between your gut and your brain called the gut-brain axiom, and it's so important to have your gut bacteria in check. After all, we are what we eat, right? With the poor quality of food we have these days, getting enough probiotics and even taking a prebiotic is really key. So let's take a minute to digest everything, you know, no pun intended, and get back to the drawing board. It's important to note that not all supplements are created equal. What will set you up for success is supplementation, with supplementation is to do your research and make sure you're taking a supplement that supports the amounts found in their clinical trials, like I mentioned before. And as always, having a conversation with your doctor to make sure that your supplements fit your specific needs. 
And who knows, you may actually teach your doctor something, which we need to do more of this day and age. Don't be discouraged if you don't notice the effect right away with your supplements. I, I really have a hard time with people that say, I just don't feel anything. The only time you're gonna feel something when you take a supplement is if it has a stimulant like caffeine in it, you know, or if you can take a pain pill to get rid of pain. But I don't know where we got this from, this, this need to feel a supplement. What you will notice over time when you take these different blends of supplements is that you're remembering more and your brain will just fire and feel sharper so you won't have so many of those brain fog moments. And if you do measure your baseline blood work and then again after taking these supplements for six months, you will notice a difference. So here's just the last few tips for when you go buy supplements. So you want to stick with supplements manufactured in the US or Europe. When they're manufactured in China, they're just not regulated enough. Now you can get ingredients from China, that's okay. China grows a lot of fantastic natural ingredients, but leave the manufacturing to the US or Europe. We just have more regulations around it. You'll also wanna look for supplements with a GMP, which is a good manufacturing practices certification. And don't bargain hunt, really. Just generally speaking, the cheaper the supplement, the lesser the quality. So do your research. Make sure your supplement contains only what you're looking for and shop at reputable stores. Sorry, no Target. I love Target, but just not for supplements. And visit our website at simplesmartscience.com to check out our line of brain health and memory boosting supplements and subscribe on their channel to get more brain health and memory boosting tips. Thank you. Thank you.